crazy facts about dictators. Saddam Hussein's personal chef, Abu Ali, once recalled an experience in which Saddam requested Ali make traditional koftas for a dinner aboard a pleasure cruise consisting of his staff and their friends. The plan was that Saddam would cook the koftas himself on a barbecue as a thank you to his staff members. After Saddam informed the guests that he was the one cooking, he made a great show whilst cooking the skewers. However, after the food was served to Abu Ali and the other staff, the guests began to eat and immediately had a burning sensation in their throats. As Ali had prepared the koftas and considering Hussein's reputation, he believed that he and the guests had been poisoned and his life began to flash in front of his eyes. However, unbeknown to Ali, Saddam had added a bottle of Tabasco sauce he received from a visiting dignitary across the koftas as a joke. According to Abu, he really believed that he and the guests were dying and Hussein reportedly found the whole thing rather amusing. Could nanobots be used as weapons of mass destruction? Nanobots are insect-like robots that are smaller than a strand of human hair and have the potential to be weaponized in the near future. The US, Russia and China are believed to be investing billions in nano weapons research. According to the physicist and author Louis Del Monte, nanobots could be weaponized in a number of ways with the potential to be used as a bioweapon delivery system or to even distribute micronuclear explosives. Louis Del Monte also believes that terrorists could potentially get their hands on nano weapons as early as the end of the decade through black market sources. Crazy facts about the British Empire. In 1947, shortly before the Indian Independence Act, the British lawyer Cyril Radcliffe was tasked with creating a border between India and the newly formed nation of Pakistan, a monumental decision, the consequences of which could potentially have a catastrophic impact on the lives of millions of people. However, the creation of the partition was rushed and according to an article in the BBC, it was alleged by the ex-British army officer Christopher Beaumont that a huge section of the Muslim majority territory which was awarded to India rather than Pakistan was decided by Radcliffe and Louis Mountbatten over a single lunch. Tens of millions of Muslims in India and Hindus in Pakistan were uprooted, and around a million people lost their lives in the ensuing religious conflict. Crazy facts about the British Empire. Between 1901 and 1902, during the Second Boer War, the British placed around a sixth of the Boer population and a still unknown amount of black Africans in overcrowded and disease-ridden concentration camps, with small food rations and poor living conditions which resulted in the deaths of around 28,000 Boers, 80% of them children, as well as the deaths of around 20,000 black Africans who were placed in separate camps, although the number is still officially unknown. History fact check. Did Joseph Stalin attempt to genetically breed eight men hybrid super soldiers for world domination. According to an article in The Scotsman, Stalin told the scientist Ilya Ivanov, who specialised in artificial insemination and the hybridization of animals, that he wanted to create a new invincible human being, insensitive to pain, resistant and indifferent about the quality of food they ate. In the 1920s, the Bolshevik government even funded an experiment conducted by Ivanov that took place in French Guinea, in which the mad scientist inseminated three female chimpanzees with human sperm, but they failed to create a pregnancy. Then again, in 1929 he attempted to inseminate five human volunteers but due to the death of his last remaining primates this experiment also failed. For his lack of scientific ethics and his failures he was sentenced to five years in jail and exiled to Kazakhstan. Under closer examination there was no concrete evidence to support that Stalin directly made any statements surrounding eight men super warriors. And although artificial insemination experiments did take place Stalin's eight men super warrior myth can be dismissed. Crazy facts about dictators. Long before he was the prime minister of Italy Benito Mussolini wrote a romance novel called The Cardinal's Mistress. The story involves a cardinal and his lover and their ill-fated love affair. Crazy facts about dictators. According to the World Food Program, 70% of the North Korean population is food insecure. As his people starve, according to various sources, Kim Jong-un has spent an average of $30 million per year on importing liquor for his inner circle, spending upwards of $2,000 on a single bottle, as well as spending lavishly on Kobe beef from Japan, caviar from Iran, pork from Denmark, melons from China, as well as around $900,000 in Brazilian coffee in a single year. Crazy facts about dictators. Saddam Hussein attempted to murder his teacher at the age of 14, at least according to Ibrahim Zapida, a man who claims that he was a childhood friend of Saddam Hussein. After a teenage Saddam was beaten by his strict teacher as a punishment, he arrived at the teacher's house at night riding a horse and knocked on the door. The teacher's brother answered and Saddam shot the brother in the leg before fleeing. The teacher then carried his wounded brother to the hospital and reported the incident to the police accusing Saddam of the crime. When the police arrived at Saddam's house, they found him asleep without a gun or a horse. The teacher then left town fearing for his life and according to Ibrahim Sapida, Saddam then told him that he returned the horse and the gun from where he borrowed them and went to sleep before the police arrived at his house. Crazy facts about dictators. During his 1914 exile in Siberia, in the small village of Karika, a 35-year-old Joseph Stalin began an illegal relationship with 13-year-old Lydia Peripagrina. 
The age of consent at the time was 14 years old. She gave birth to a daughter a year later, but the child passed away. In 1916, Lydia became pregnant again. However, Stalin left Siberia, disappearing without saying goodbye. In April 1917, Lydia gave birth to a son, Alexander. Stalin was aware of the boy, but offered no support. In 2016, Alexander's great-grandson took a DNA test and proved that Alexander was, in fact, Stalin's son. Easy facts about dictators. To help troops identify the most wanted members of the Iraq government during the 2003 invasion, the US Army issued a special deck of playing cards for the American troops, showing the names and job titles of high-value targets along with their photos. Saddam Hussein, the most valuable capture, was shown as the Ace of Spades. As of 2021, 48 out of the 52 most wanted have died or been either killed or captured. Only 11 have been released. Crazy facts about dictators. Kim Jong-il's government was involved in various nefarious activities to finance his lavish lifestyle and keep his hold of power over North Korea. They were known to produce illicit substances to sell to criminal organizations in other countries, as well as being heavily involved in the ivory trade and they were also famously known as the finest forgers of American dollars in the world. Crazy facts about dictators. There is evidence to suggest that Joseph Stalin died from being poisoned. At least according to authors Vladimir P. Naumov and Jonathan Brent, who state in their book Stalin's Last Crime that Stalin may have been poisoned by warfarin, a tasteless and colorless blood thinner at a dinner party shortly before his death. Their theory is based in part on early drafts of a medical report which stated that Stalin suffered from severe stomach bleeding during his final throes, which may indicate war for in poisoning. A piece of information that was removed from the official medical record that was published three months after his death. Crazy facts about the FBI. The FBI framed four innocent men for a murder. On March 12th, 1965, Edward Deegan was found murdered in an alley in Chelsea, Massachusetts. Two days before his murder, using a wiretap, the FBI had eavesdropped on a conversation between Vincent Flemmy and Joseph the Animal Barbosa, two mafia members who had planned to murder Deegan. However, FBI agents were in the process of recruiting Flemmy and Barbosa as informants, and even after hearing the conversation, they did nothing to prevent Deegan's murder. The FBI then framed four innocent men of the crime to keep their informants on the streets. The four men were convicted on the basis of a fake witness testimony provided by Barbosa. Two of the men were sentenced to life imprisonment and two were sentenced to death. However, the state of Massachusetts later changed their death penalty law and the men were given life in prison. Two of the men died in prison and the others spent decades behind bars. In the year 2000, documents revealed the conspiracy and even indicated J. Edgar Hoover was aware of the situation. The United States government paid out 101.7 million crazy facts about dictators. In 2007, Idi Amin's son was one of a mob of individuals who brutally attacked a young teenager and took his life. Vizor Wangita, who was one of Idi Amin's many children, was recorded on CCTV in London with a group of other men attacking the young teenager. And blood from the victims was even found on Vizor's trousers. However, he was cleared of murder and was instead found guilty for plotting to wound and for violent disorder. Then again in 2008, whilst waiting for deportation from the United Kingdom, Vizor Wangita was accused of being one of eight men who beat another deportee at an immigration center near Heathrow Airport. 